It's Francis here. Um, I thought I'd show you a little video on how I oxidize my um, copper. Um, the first thing I do, I put on some latex gloves. I don't want to get this, um, it's called liver of sulfur, on my fingers. Um, because then it can oxidize other things I touch, and it's just kind of messy. And then the next thing I do, I use these um, Cool Whip bowls. Uh, they seem to be about the right size. And um, I start off with um, some warm water in two different bowls. And there's, this is what we're going to oxidize today. This, um, that's what your raw copper looks like before you oxidize it. Next thing I use is um, it's liver of sulfur. You can get this on Amazon. It depends how much copper you're going to oxidize and how much you use. On a small batch, I usually just use one drop. On a large, hey, there's old Dale Earnhardt. Um, on a this is kind of a bigger one, so I'm going to use a little bit more than that. Maybe a little drop. Okay. The next thing you want to do, I usually eye out the baking soda. The baking soda is going to neutralize your oxidation so it won't um, get dark. So I kind of eye it out. It's about probably a teaspoon to tablespoon. I kind of eye it out myself because I've done it a while. And I stir both of these mixtures up. Stir them up real good. Make sure that baking soda dissolves. And same way with this liver of sulfur. And I use two separate plastic forks on these. You don't want to get the baking soda mixed up in here or vice versa too much. Okay, so that's what it should look like. A yellowish um, mixture. Okay, so I'm just kind of gently, you don't want it splashing too much, okay, um, and I just keep stirring it. You can see right now it's already getting darker, I may put a little bit too much in it. Um, stir it up, and it's just soaking in that chemical, it's actually a natural chemical, a natural the man-made oxidation. Um, you see it's getting dark a little bit. Depends what kind of color you want on it. Um, you know, it's getting to about where I want it. And so what do we want to do? Just pull all these pieces and put them over here to your um, baking soda. And that's going to neutralize this oxidation. You know, some of this is getting a little dark, darker than I like, but some people like that copper um, in a more brownish color. But if it's too dark, we're going to take some steel wool anyway to go over all these um, pieces of jewelry, just to bring out the copper look to it. And I think that's all of them. You don't want to uh, pour this down your sink um, unless you neutralize it. And you neutralize it simply by putting some baking soda in there. Okay, and it's neutralized. And it shouldn't stain your pipes too bad now. It's all neutralized. Okay, so here we are with our jewelry. I leave it in there just a little bit. We're pretty much done. Um, next thing I do, I'm going to rinse it off with um, some uh, water, running water in the sink. So I'm going to pause this video while I do that. And I'm going to empty all the water out of this and just kind of rinse um, clear water on this. 
be right back. Okay, so what I've done, I've um, rinsed it off and kind of put them on a paper towel here. And I've got a piece of steel wool. You can use fine wool. This is fine. And for this example, I'm just going to use some coarse steel wool. You can see, kind of dark. There's not a lot of the natural copper showing. You can leave your gloves on because um, your fingers are going to get kind of dark because of the steel wool, but this is what I do. Just kind of run this over. It brings out the, the pattern of this weave that I do. It shows the copper a lot better. It still keeps it dark. And even though I'm doing this, this whole process slows down the oxidation of this copper and uh, makes it a little bit long lasting um, as a piece of jewelry. And this is, you know, a nice piece of, uh, what is this? Moonstone? Yeah, that's some nice moonstone there. And it makes it wearable. You have to go through and um, maybe take the, or maybe small little pieces of steel wool in there. But as you can see, it brings out the copper look to it, and at the same time, has slowed the oxidation off. Okay, so oxidation 101. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, just let me know.